think of successful business people, there's probably a list of traits or characteristics that might come into your mind. If you Google it, you can find any one of those lists that can you know, knock those out for you and tell you exactly what a good leader should have. But I want you to think about that a little bit differently this week. I'm Wanda Thibodeau. I'm the host of the Faithful on the Clock podcast, and this is Challenge Me Monday. The verse that I have for you today is Titus 2, verses 2 through 3, and that says, Teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-controlled, and sound in faith, in love and in endurance. Likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderers or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. And so the idea with this verse, what I want to get at is that when Paul was writing to his people, he understood that in this time, in this culture that he was in, you know, there was a lot of respect for the elderly men and women, especially for the men, okay? But he understood that and that if he could get the um, elderly people to believe and behave well, that that would serve as a model for everyone who was underneath them. Okay, so if you basically, if you can get them on your side and, and, you know, doing the right thing, that would have good things for everybody who was coming up in those next generations, okay? So it's kind of, in a way, like a little bit of an insurance policy because he was looking ahead, essentially. If you can get those people, you can get a lot more later on, okay? So what I want you to do for this week is look to see who is a little bit more senior around you and maybe try and find the people who don't have those leadership characteristics who are not living the greatest life yet according to the scriptures and maybe just kind of minister to them in very subtle ways to teach them these traits these are more ethical moral traits right not i mean they they are related to leadership too and success but it's on god's standard okay so that is really what my definition of success is. So if you can get those people on your side and you can convince those people, I think it's going to have a huge influence, not only for their friends, for their family, but for the businesses that are in, that they're in, everybody who is going to come up underneath them. Okay. So it's really stabilizing to the business if you want them to work in a biblical way. Okay. So that's my, my challenge for the week. Go ahead and sign up for the Zoom chat that we always have at 6 p.m. on Thursday. I hope to see you there. But if I cannot, go ahead and download the reflection questions that go with the Zoom anyway. It's just a good tool to have just to kind of get into the scripture a little bit. So I hope you have a great week. Take care. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing. I will see you next week. Bye.